1966, we built the first satellite that used a power system. It was really the start of the story we have today for space. It's very hard to be first. Nobody wants to be the first customer, nobody wants to be the first application. There's a lot of risk that goes along with being first. So you have to really know what you're doing, you have to be very bold, and you have to just step forward and, and go for it. When you think about what a battery for a satellite is, you see that it's a multi-physics system, which involves a lot of technical skills. We need to comply with all the requirements we have for space that are really stringent. The battery has to survive in harsh environments. If the battery failed, the satellite failed. We do capacity tests, we do the check of the electronic, we do the check of uh, high mechanical level in order to be sure that all the assembly is good. We are not just a battery maker, we are a cell and battery makers. We design the product for space application from the chemical powder to the electronics. Doing this, we know exactly what we have in the battery. We can give each of our customers full access to traceability of their battery. Certainly in the space market, heritage is key. We've been flying lithium-ion batteries since 2001. We've never seen an anomaly in orbit. Quality is utmost importance. So, you know, there's, there's no fixing it once it's launched. You need to prove that you know how to do it right. And our customers know that because we've been in it for more than 50 years. You can't have batteries that fail if they're on orbit and still be in this business. One of the programs I'm, I'm very proud of, the GOES uh, program, uh, the weather satellite that can track hurricanes real time. The photos and the, the data that they get back from those satellites are instrumental in making sure that we, we have a better idea of how we can predict these hurricanes. Literally, they help save lives. Everybody can do a battery that will work at the beginning of life. Few people know how to build a battery that will work 15 years after on orbit without any maintenance. Sometimes I check uh, the sky during the night uh, and I see uh, it is a satellite perhaps and perhaps with my battery. So it's uh, fabulous. When you think about something that's going to go land on Mars or it's going to take pictures of Jupiter, it's beyond the battery. It's something for everybody to be inspired by. Thank you.